Ukraine is incurring heavy losses, about 50 to 100 soldiers a day. The power to stop this war is in the hands of one man, Vladimir Putin. Russia is solely responsible for this food crisis. We will keep going as long as it takes so that Ukraine emerges from this conflict as the democracy that it is. Destruction and debris litter the ground after a Russian missile strike in Ukraine's capital, the first since the end of April. The fighting in the Donbass is happening along an arc spanning hundreds of kilometers. Hundreds of thousands of civilians in cities, towns and villages are trying to escape it. The manager of an air club in Kharkiv described new attacks. He said there were four hits on the hangar, damaging planes. While Russian artillery is believed to be out of range of Kharkiv, Russian missiles continue to hit civilian areas. If they will, they will be placed, and from that we will make appropriate measures, and use our own serious damage, which we have enough for them to take such a blow at the same object, which we still have not yet. The Russian Defense Force, with Ukraine's major ports blocked by Russia, Experts say more than 20 million tons of harvested grain is stuck, with serious implications for global hunger. This is driving up food prices, pushing people into poverty and destabilizing entire regions. And Russia is solely responsible for this food crisis. Turkey's foreign minister is endorsing a United Nations proposal to resume grain exports from Ukraine and calls the UN plan for a corridor to ship Ukrainian agricultural products feasible. The Ukrainian government, however, is voicing reservations about the UN plan, arguing that removing defenses from Ukrainian ports like Odessa could lead to new Russian attacks. The can not be even a question of Russia continuing membership in the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. What is there for Russia to do if it's working for starvation of at least 400 million people? Two British men in a Moroccan national were sentenced to death uh, by pro-Russian officials. They have been uh, put on trial, sentenced to death, even as Ukraine officials say they should be treated as soldiers, as like prisoners of war. Cancel that decision, don't pretend it's a trial, and provide them with their rights, which they have as prisoners of war and the Geneva Conventions. <laughs>